Mission update, Agent Connor Heath. Operation, protect Giselle Legos. You've been selected for elite training with the Cordovan Secret Service. We're sworn to serve the president and protect Gisela. We now know what motivates the growing number of enemy agents. Money talks, especially Azul's. My payment, Senor Azul. Sir, we had an agreement. Might be fending them off forever without new intel or directives. You know I'd do anything to make sure Azul can't hurt my father. She's got a welcome distraction. Andre's back from his latest eco travels. Definitely rated G for Gisela. So then we're on. Looks like. And Ed's still putting me through my paces. How many more tests before he graduates me? Come on, nachos are on me. What would we do if somebody threw a wedge between us? Agent Heath, signing off. <laughs> Man, I thought I aced that geography <laughs> test. Until they asked me where Nashville was. What did you put? 14th. Well, technically you were right, but maybe you should watch <laughs> Did you hear that? Hear what? That. Go. Oh. You okay? Um, Connor? A president's daughter in need of protection. A dangerous enemy threatening to attack. I'm Connor Heath, and this is the stuff my spy dreams are made of. Only this time, it's for real. In a flash, our lives have changed. There's nowhere to run to. So take my hand now. I'll always be with you. Nice move, wannabe. Ed, what are you doing? Almost had a heart attack. I is this some kind of test? If it is, did I pass? Don't know yet. We're just getting started. OK, this is scary. You got your low-level thugs. Then there's the spies for hire. There's the specialists and the boss, so-called Azul. So who's the new guy? And don't they have freezers where he comes from? Until our guys get a positive ID on him, I'm gonna call him Harry. Get it? Don't quit the day job. Ed brought him in last night. Got a detonator off him, and uh, check this. A USB packed with state secrets. State secrets? Like what? Some military stuff, bunch of bios on some aides close to the president, um, some intel about a key. That's new. Now, I'm wondering if it has anything to do with Ed's sneak attack on me today. If things are ramping up. He's probably testing you for some kind of promotion. You think so, too? After all the work you've done, you deserve a promotion. Or at the very least, a catered event. You're here. Um, mm. You have five minutes to reassemble it from memory. Go. We're busy here. Haven't you got a marmoset to save? I have a date with Andre, so I need Connor for the afternoon. Negative. Can't spare him. What about the asset's love life? Relax, Bling. You can go. I've booked an additional detail for today. Enjoy your eco date, or whatever it is you kids do these days. That's it? No questions? No cautions? No hideous wig for me to wear to keep the enemy off my trail? Nope. Ah. Bye. Done. Three minutes to spare. Is that all you've got? Not even close. Bring it on. Nice look. You know, normally I never pass up an opportunity for new shoes, but today. Hey, green is in. All the glam frogs are wearing it. Uh, yeah. Hey, it's for a great cause. And you have to admit, you'll definitely stop traffic in that. That's it. Maybe the frog. I'll hand out the flyers. Sorry, I don't do felt. You know, if it wasn't for those poor, helpless, endangered frogs. You'd be out with me anyway? You better stay on your toes, Andre Martin, because I don't like it when a guy gets too comfortable. I could walk away from this at any moment. Oh, yeah? I'd like to see you try. 
shall we? Not bad. From the moment you knew there was a threat in the house to the cupcake splat, three minutes. Not that this isn't fun, Ed, but it's time to come clean. What's this all about? Does it have anything to do with that evidence and detonator you brought in this morning? Should I be expecting a change of some sorts? Yeah? I just want to make sure you're ready for anything. Oh, and there's another test waiting for you on your computer. Standard agent exam. You have four hours from now. Hey! Who blew up my cupcake? I, I was saving that. Hey, Ty, have you noticed I've been uh, emotional lately? Fred, I mean. Does watching ice dancing count? Because if it does, then yes. Hmm. Something's up. Something bigger than this bunch of little tests. But what? You gonna make the coffee talk? No. Maybe I can get Ed to. Which is not a tenant of close protection? That'd be C. Aha. Ed's on the move, and so am I. Submit answers, and I've got two hours to earn some extra credit. Frog populations are declining in Ontario. It isn't easy being green, but you can help. How are you holding up? I'm great. Unlike this costume, which smells like yesterday's sushi. I have it on good authority that you do just about anything for these green guys and their big, sad, endangered eyes. You know, saving frogs is great and all that, but maybe next day we should get on your plane and call attention to some deserving ocean creatures. You mean the kind where you get to set up an info booth near the water? And wear cute traffic stopping bikinis instead of Dale's sushi suits? And help our colleagues apply sunscreen? I remember needing sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, we got frogs. <sighs> frogs and ramps. Oh my gosh! That was close. Mm -hmm. You know what? What? I'm kind of warming up to this whole frog costume. It's kind of working for me. Nice move, Ed. But I know that trick. When you taught me. Okay, you can pack my lunch any day you want. Glad you like it. I figure the more courses you eat, the longer I get to leave my flippers on the bench. Oh, look. Oh, he's staring right at us. No, he's staring at you. He thinks I'm extended family. Hey, through's your crowd. Can't you see I'm trying to work up the nerve to kiss this girl? You know, I'm really glad your Uncle Ed suggested I take you here today. Ed? Yeah, who'd have thought that guy's a romantic? He's not. Could have fooled me. He knew all about the center, and your endangered frogs, even this picnic spot. I think he likes me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me a sec? What? Where are you going? Keith. Connor, something's wrong. I don't know what exactly, but this does not feel right. And now I'm way off in the burbs, and you're not here. <sighs> whoa, whoa, slow down. What happened exactly? I just found out that Ed arranged for Andre to take me off on this date. 
He planned it all. But he pretended like he didn't know anything about it. And now I'm way far from home and... What's going on? Should I be worried? Well, there's got to be some kind of explanation. And you've got a security detail watching you, so... Should you be worried? Um, absolutely... Yes. Good. Wait, yes? D did you just say yes? I think I know why Ed sent you off for the day. And why he's been keeping me so busy. To keep us out of the picture. Connor, what are you talking about? What's going on? Ed just gave Zatari that drive of the state secrets. What? Wait, but she's the enemy. I don't understand. Are you saying that Ed's betrayed us? I'm not just saying it. I saw it. Before we jump to conclusions, I better get some confirmation. Hang on. You know, you're right. It has been way too long. It's great to be back on the same side, though. Even if it is for the other team. I can't believe this. Well? It doesn't look good. Luckily, I never leave home without a couple of spare GPS trackers. In the meantime, I better arrange to get you home. Okay, be careful. Bye. We're not finished here. We did okay. Gave out lots of brochures, got a load of signatures. No, and, uh, I mean, we're not finished here. I, I guess I have a couple more minutes. There she is, Miss Okete. Yes? Come with us, please. What, why? She knows why. Hold it, what's going on? <laughs> Infectious microbes. So easy to spread, so hard to beat. This is a bad dream, and I'm gonna wake up any second and find Ed's hard drive full of intel. Won't be missing. Yep. I'm ready to wake up now. Any second. Ed! Wanna be, how goes the battle? Wrap up that test yet? Um, yeah, it was nothing. How about that section four? Killer, huh? You know what, Ed? I'd rather we talk about it in person. When are you back, anyway? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm on assignment. Yeah? What kind of assignment? Sorry, classified. Ed, I'm only gonna ask you this once, but... Is there something you want to say? Maybe get off your chest. Like? You tell me. Look, wannabe. You worry about your life, and I'll worry about mine. An ambulance? That was the closest available emergency vehicle. Got you home pretty quick, didn't it? But now Andre thinks I have some strange communicable disease. You say that like it's a bad thing. Besides, if that was the worst of our problems right now, we would be in pretty good shape. However... What is that? That's email account? Here he is barking about a pay raise he was supposed to get, but didn't. Uh, here he is complaining about his accommodation, and here he is... Complaining about me? A prima donna? Insufferable? Self-absorbed? Conceited? That does not make sense. Well, I don't know. The self-absorbed one seems pretty, uh... No! I mean, if he were to do something like this, he would cover his tracks. But he didn't. He left all these emails and bits of evidence sitting out. Like he wanted someone to find them. Oh, I would have loved to see the look on the president's face. So do we have a Sewell's attention now? Yeah, I thought so. Agent Garcia, no, he's set to dead drop a significant piece of hardware to me. It's gonna make that envelope look like an appetizer. I don't know, once, once he makes the drop, we'll know beyond the shadow of a doubt that he's with us. My top agent gone rogue? He took a bullet for me. And now you're telling me he's committed treason. Get my daughter. And Agent Heath on the line. Immediately. 
I'm fine, Daddy, and you're wrong. Ed would never do this. I know it is hard to accept. He was a friend of mine, too, remember? But Ed is behind a massive security leak. He has gone over to the enemy. But, sir, there's got to be some kind of mistake, some other explanation. And whatever that is, I promise you, I will find it. Your loyalty to Ed is laudable. But if you want to prove his innocence, you'd better do it fast. Agents are looking for Agent Garcia as we speak, and have been instructed to bring him in by whatever means necessary. Stay safe, Jason. Te amo también. Te amo. Connor, what if Dad's guys find Ed first? By whatever means necessary. Don't worry, they don't have the necessary means. What are you talking about? I'm talking about tracking devices that I've planted, and they haven't. See, here's Ed, and here's where I'm sending your dad's agents to look for him. Should buy us enough time to get to the bottom of this. I should have known you had something in your back pocket. Always do, though usually it's just my wallet. Well, it looks like Ed and Zatari are together now. Or close anyway. And there's her car. And there's Ed. Come on. Where did he go? Well, I don't know now. The tracking device was in his coat, which he's obviously ditched along with his hat to keep agents off his trail. Now what? Well, if we can't talk to Ed directly, maybe whatever he left in Satari's car will do the talking for him. Not so fast. I'm not wearing the right boots for this. These are worth more than your house. Yeah, well, I'm not wearing the right vest for this. Which is? Kevlar. Ed's hard drive. Right there, waiting for the enemy. He couldn't. He wouldn't. He would never go rogue. I, I can't believe this. Uh, Con, right there. Isn't that the detonator I got off that agent the other night? Run! Hey, are you all right? One, one piece? That was too close. What, what if you had What happened? Well, two things. I just got a head clearing rush of adrenaline. <coughs> Whew. I just got our answer. Ed didn't betray us. He just wanted it to look like he did. But you gave Zatari the hard drive. Yeah, yeah. And then he made it look like a rival agent blew it up before Zatari could do any damage. Am I right? Forensics will find the detonator in the debris. Zatari will be fooled. She wants to believe I'm with her. But why? Why do this? We should go. I don't know. I want to know why we're almost crispy critters out there. It's complicated. But I believe there's a mole in the government. Somebody close to the president working with Azul. The only way to bring this conspiracy down is to do it from the inside. As a rogue agent. But you're not rogue. We have proof you're every bit as loyal as we thought. Except. That's not what you're going to tell the president, is it? Is it? If we do this, we do it together. Quarter of Band Security Services. How may I direct your call? This is Agent Connor Heath. I have a message for the president. Of course, sir. Please leave your message at the end of the tone. Mr. President, Connor here. You were right. Ed has gone rogue. But luckily, his secret hard drive didn't fall into enemy hands like he planned. I'm sending you more coordinates now. I'll be in touch. Where are they from? Oh, Andre, get well soon. Well, at least we know he doesn't scare easy. Could be worse. But still, everything just feels so 
headless and secret and weird? Exactly. I mean, I even have to keep this from my dad? No. We have to. My mission is still with you. Oh, message from Ed. Uh, let me unscramble it. Bling, wannabe. I just wanted to apologize to you both for involving you in this mess. I never meant to. We were supposed to be busy. But I never expected you to do such an amazing job that you were almost toast. I'll never underestimate you again, though. From now on, I'm gonna call you gonna be. As in, you're gonna be awesome, all on your own. And bling? Keep them in line. I know you know how. You won't hear from me for a while. But don't worry. I'm always with you. Never with them. Burn this. Ed, out. You gonna destroy his message? Oh, yeah. Connor, can we do this? Can we really keep Ed's secret and deal with the enemy all on our own? Of course. Besides, it doesn't matter if we can do this. We have to do this. Together. Yep. The new normal begins now. <laughs>